wouldn't mind living in the nicest house in town, buying your wife a lot of fine clothes, going to New York on a business trip a couple of times a year, maybe Europe once in a while. I know what I'm going to do tomorrow and the next day and next year and the year after that. I'm shaking the dust of this crummy little town off my feet and I'm going to see the world. And then I'm going to build things. I'm going to build airfields. I'm going to build skyscrapers a hundred stories high. I'm going to build a bridge a mile long. What is it you want, Mary? What, you, you want the moon? If you do, just say the word. I'll throw a lasso around it and pull her down for you. Buffalo gal, won't you come out tonight? Won't you come out tonight? Won't you come out tonight? Buffalo gal, won't you come out tonight? Hi. Mary Hatch. Why, why in the world do you ever marry a guy like me? What do you keep from being an old maid? You could have married Sam Wainwright and anybody else in town. No, I didn't want to marry anybody else in town. I want my baby to look like you. I didn't even have a honeymoon. I promised you... You what? Hi, baby. You're, 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 Mary, you, you on the nest? George Bailey Lasso Stork. Lasso's a stork? Well, you, you mean, you, 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 what, what, you, what is it, a boy or a girl? Mm-hmm. Now you probably already guessed that George never leaves Bedford Falls. No. Mary had her baby, a boy. Then she had another one, a girl. Day after day, she worked away remaking the old Granville house into a home. Night after night, George came back late from the office. Potter was bearing down hard.